Hello everyone, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date, new videos, and learn about this hobby. So we've touched on several digital modes lately. We've done FT8 in a video, we've done JT65 in a video, done PSK in a video, but RIDI, R-T-T-Y, Radio Teletype. You know, RIDI has been around for a long time, and RIDI is one other mode that I like to work but it's a little bit different than, say, PSK and FT8 and JT65. So this is what you might hear. And this is what it would look like if you had Riddy on your waterfall. Now, the question I want to ask, I want to share a couple facts with you or at least try to give you an insight of what Riddy is now that we're talking about these digital modes. But the question I want to ask is, where is all the RIDI? Um, years ago in field day, uh, RIDI was a lot more popular for digital communication in field day. And now it seems that PSK has become the de facto digital mode for uh, field day contacts. And when I go on a frequency on 20 meters, generally it's hard to find a RIDI, free, a RIDI contact, but there's plenty of PSK out there. So what is the main advantage or disadvantage with PSK over RIDI? Where is the RIDI? And, you know, RIDI goes back way before ham radio use. In fact, uh, you know, PSK, JT65, the new FT8 mode, JT9, those are generally, you know, really popular with ham radio, but they haven't had a use like Riddy did years ago. Um, for instance, if you talk to somebody in an older generation and you ask them, what is Riddy? What is teletype? Well, you might end up having them think of this. And this is an original teletype machine that you would a user would type on the keyboard here and it would send a signal wirelessly over radio instead of having Morse code operators or telegraph operators on each end. You can send a lot faster, more printed information over RF with machines like this. And they used tapes like this, which would punch holes out and you'd call it a ticker tape or a radio teletype tape or whatever. But nowadays we're spoiled with using computers and software connected to our radios that do all this pretty much for us. But after these ticker tapes or whatever you call these ribbons or tapes or the teletype machines, they had more modern for the day units that had a keyboard. Notice the keyboard's smaller. You don't have a full alphabet with symbols like you would on PSK. So you would have a visual display unit here or a monitor and that would make the teletype uh, a little bit easier to decode. But you also have, with with traditional radio teletype, you know, a really good deal of uh, aligning the frequencies. Or the frequency for the transmit and receive was a big deal. And now, uh, you know, we're kind of spoiled with having, like I said, the, the uh, software that's doing it for us. So what am I seeing? If I look at the screen here and I'm familiar with PSK, what am I looking at? You're looking at Digital Master 780 here. Digital Master... Uh, what is is a software I use for decoding digital modes, and it does a lot of them, almost all of them. Um, and what I'm seeing here is a waterfall on the bottom with signals, like PSK would be a single sliver of signal, and now RIDI is using two of them, and there are two different frequency signals here, with a shift in between them. And the way it works is with using on and off, or mark and space and bits. For instance, one bit, one start bit, five bits of information for a character, and a stop bit. So there's a bought it code. Emil bought it, created the code for this type of communication back in the late 1800s. And in the 1900s, military uh, was using RIDI. News stations, weather, uh, were using RIDI. In fact, they're still using RIDI for maritime operations. Primarily, I know of, if you go to 30 meters at 10.100.8 right now, you're going to hear something that sounds like RIDI. And that's actually 
uh, in Hamburg, Germany, a 10 kilowatt station that's transmitting weather data over ready to people that are sailors or boats for weather alerts or forecasts or advisories or conditions. So we're still using ready for other than ham radio, specifically maritime uh, weather facts and stuff like that, or, or just weather information. In the field day operations, I've seen, as I said before, PSK is full on the waterfall, but there's not as there's there's all kinds of stations crammed in a, a three kilohertz window, where you have plenty more room to operate ready, so you can operate ready, you know, from 14.080 to 14.110, so you have a lot more to space out for each for other signals, so that we all are not on top of each other, because it only takes one person running way too much power on PSK to blank out everybody else's signal. But PSK will decode far on, on varying signals or far lower of signal, more noise floor. PSK will decode when ready won't. And PSK has, and other digital modes, have some type of error correction for those noisy environments where ready, if you lose bits of data, it becomes jarbled gargan or garbled jargon <laughs> and you lose the bits. So in a situation in QRP, for example, it'd be easier to work PSK at five watts than it would ready because ready you'd have to have like 20 watts to make the same effect. For ready, you're using the you can use the same exact setup for FT8, JT65. PSK31, so no new investment there, and set your software to decode RTTY. Taking a look, going over to 40 meters here, so look, I see PSK. Look at the weak signal here, look, it still decodes. Look. Even when the signal is hardly bright there, it'll still decode. But there's people on PSK. Let's go up to Ridi. Wait a second. I don't see any ready here. That looks like uh, JT9. JT9 or JT65, but no ready. No ready on 20 or 40 right now. There was a couple earlier. So I encourage you to try ready, number one. Get on there and check out the band segments usually they're around uh, 7.080 and above 14.080 and above 3.580 and above 21.080 and above you know they're all above the normal digital band plan above the cw below the phone let me show you one more thing here a device that i've made a video on before that is interesting for psk and ridi in the field If you haven't seen the video before on my channel, check this device out right here, Digital Modem Made by China. That is awesome. With this little device here, I can work PSK, I can work RIDI with a USB keyboard. I got a roll up eBay keyboard to plug in there. I can plug this right into my radio. Actually, this would work on this 991 or my uh, FT817, but you can do Oh, you can have a waterfall and decode and transmit ready right on here. Ready, PSK, even CW keyboard method. So check the video out on this because I have used this on field day for ready. And I did use this a uh, couple QRP events. But I want to try this. Here's a sneak peek at the next video coming up with this neat QRP SDR color screen QRP radio. From China. You got to check this thing out here. This is going to be cool. Coming up next, subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Leave a comment in below the below the video on what you do with Ridi or if you have or haven't used Ridi or give me your experiences. I want to hear about the old time of Ridi with the teletype machines. Leave a comment in the actual video on YouTube below. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And 7-3, thank you all for watching. More videos on the way from KJ4YZI.